टुडे क्वालकॉम अनाउंसड इट्स अपकमिंग फ्लैगशिप एंड मिड रेंज एसोसिएट्स द स्नैप ड्रैगन एट सिक्सटी फाइव द एंड सेवन As the name shows the Snapdragon 865 is the upgrade to this year's Snapdragon 855 and it is the SoC that we would see powering almost every Android flagship next year. Talking about the other two SoCs these are the first under the Snapdragon 7 series to support 5G thanks to the integrated 5G modem. Now at the official event Xiaomi announced that its Mi 10 would be one of the first phones to launch with Snapdragon 865. Well that phone is launching next year but in less than a week the Redmi K30 is launching in China with 5G support On the official Vivo page Redmi has now announced that the Redmi K30 5G is powered by the Snapdragon 765G SoC This might make the K30 first phone to launch with this SoC but still Realme has also announced that it would be one of the first to launch a phone with Snapdragon 765G While we still don't know when the Realme X50 5G is launching, the company would have to launch it before 10th of December if it wants to become the first company to launch a phone with Snapdragon 765G SoC. Now Redmi K30 will most likely come in two versions, that is 4G and 5G. The 5G version is definitely coming with the Snapdragon 765G SoC, but the same cannot be said for the 4G version. It would most likely have Snapdragon 730G. Redmi has posted some more images on its Vivo page related to the K30 and one of the images reveals that the Redmi K30 5G has a 6.67 inch display with a 4.38 mm cutout for the dual selfie cameras. While the rumors and leaks related to the 120 Hz refresh rate are all over the internet, the company has still not confirmed this. If you are confused why the Redmi K30 has a hole punch display instead of a full screen design like the Redmi K20, The Redmi's general manager said via a Vivo post that using a pop-up camera mechanism increases the thickness of the phone. Here is an image shared by him which shows that while a 4G phone needs just 4 antennas, the number is around 12 for a 5G phone. One more thing that was confirmed today is the battery size. Redmi has revealed that the K30 has a 4500 mAh battery with 30W fast charging. Moreover, Redmi claims that its 30W fast charging technology can fully charge the 4500 mAh battery in just around 60 minutes. So that's impressive. Well, every day we are getting more details related to the Redmi K30 5G and it would be interesting to see at what price Redmi launches it in China. What do you think of the Redmi K30 5G? Do let me know via the comment section below. I'll catch you in the next one.